Hello and welcome back to the e-learning video series on BSF BioWaste Processing. This module is the introduction to the chapter of BSFL Post Processing. After watching this module, you will be able to identify the benefits of post processing, you will understand the flow diagram as well as the mass balance of post processing BSF larvae, you will be able to identify different products and the process steps required. You will recognize the process control log sheet, and finally, you will understand the structure of the modules within this series. To start this chapter, we would like to discuss quickly why it can be useful to post-process BSF larvae. First of all, the fresh larvae are not storable, so they are still alive, and they quickly move to the next life stage, the pre pupae stage. Therefore, sales of fresh larvae need to happen on the same day as you harvest BSF larvae. Fresh larvae are moving and therefore also difficult to pack and transport. So customers, for example farmers, need to be able to pick up the larvae directly at your site. This further requires a sales network within a close distance to the BSF facility. When you post-process BSF larvae into, for example, dried BSF larvae, BSF meal or BSF oil, these products become storable and easier to transport. This makes selling and shipment more flexible and widens the potential sales area and sales markets. However, post-processing of BSF larvae comes with an additional investment and additional operational costs. In the previous chapter on BSF waste treatment, conversion and product harvesting, we showed you how to sanitize larvae by blanching the larvae in hot water for a few seconds, followed by a washing step. In this chapter, we use sanitized BSF larvae as an input material for each of the operation. Sanitized larvae consist mainly of water, around 75%, and they contain a protein amount of around 10%. The first post-processing step is drying. So the first part of this chapter will show you different drying methods, namely the microwave drying, then roasting, we are going to show this in a very small scale and in a medium scale application. And then we are going to show you how to oven dry BSF larvae. Regardless of the drying method used, the water inside the larvae is evaporated, which results in a mass reduction of around 70%. The proteins inside the larvae get more concentrated to a percentage of 30 to 40. Then, dried larvae can be further fractioned. This fractioning means that the dried larvae are split into two fractions. The protein fraction, the BSF meal, and the fat fraction, the BSF oil. We will show you how to mechanically fraction dried BSF larvae by using a screw press. The screw press will give two outputs, the BSF press cake and the BSF crude oil. The press cake accounts for the larger mass fraction and consists mainly of protein. The press cake has a rough texture, therefore it needs to be further refined by grinding it down to BSF meal. In this last step, the composition and the mass balance is not changed anymore, only the texture. Then the smaller fraction from this, the screw press, out, screw press output is the BSF crude oil. It's called crude because some solids remain and this results in a non fat content of around 15%. In a further, further refining step, the oil can be purified to up to 99% fat content. However, in this last step, there is a mass reduction of around 40% of the material that is lost in the refining step. Now, in this chapter, you will have one video for each of the different operations in this flow diagram. So there will be one video for each drying method and there will be one video on fractioning and one video on refining. And in all of these videos, we will quickly come back to this flow diagram and we will show you the mass balance for this particular operation in, in the video. Depending on which processing flow you choose, you will end up with different BSF products with different qualities. When we talk about quality in this learning course, we specifically focus on two aspects, the visual aspect and the nutritional composition. 
With visual aspects, we mean color, texture, shape of the end product. With nutritional composition, we mean the protein, fat, fiber, ash, and moisture content of the end product. One module will be about microwave drying. The output of microwave drying are bright, crispy, and puffed PSF larvae. Then there is a module on roasting PSF larvae with a very simple and small scale setup. The output of this roasting process are also crispy and puffed larvae, but the roasting process leads to more color changes compared to microwave drying. We will show you the roasting process also for a bit bigger scaled application by using the coffee roasting machine. The output product of this process are also crispy and puffed larvae with the typically roasting induced darker colors. Then there is one more module on drying BSF larvae using a static oven. This is a more passive but slow drying method. The end product are light and hard larvae with a dark color. After learning about drying BSF larvae, we will show you how you can fraction dry BSF larvae into BSF press cake and BSF crude oil using a mechanical screw press. Finally, we will show you how to further refine the press cake into BSF meal with a grinder and how to filter BSF crude oil to obtain a pure BSF oil. In each module, we will also highlight important process control parameters to monitor your operation. You can download the log sheet we are using in this chapter. You find the link for the download in the video description. To end the introduction module for this chapter, we want to provide you with an overview of what the other modules in general will be looking like. Each of these modules will tell you about one of the particular post-processing operations we mentioned before. Each module will start with a description of the output product quality. Then we will quickly come back to the mass balance of the discussed post-processing step with the specific details for the operation. Then you will be going over the overview of the required materials that are needed for the operation. Then we will move to the operational video where we will go step by step through what you have to do in terms of activities for this operation. We will then show you how to monitor important process control parameters. And finally, we will give you some pros and cons for this operation step. This should help you to make a decision on which post-processing operation fits best for your BSF site. Then we will end with questions and answers to refresh the knowledge that you have gained through the module. Now we are at the end of this module. We saw that post-processing BSF larvae makes this product storable and easy to transport. Drying removes the water from the larvae and re reduces its mass by 70%. Fractioning splits the dried larvae into a protein fraction, the BSF meal, and a fat fraction, the BSF oil. Thank you for watching this module, part of the e-learning video series on BSF bio-waste processing. More information can be found in the BSF step-by-step -step guide, which you can download through the QR code here. Both of these materials were part of the forward project by EOAC, in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Works in Indonesia, and funded by SECO, the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs.